wobble 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 this is downtown edge and jay but kicking the sounds in under the town how you going out there back again in fullest of effect and we've got another exciting show for you today on adrian J online Okay, so um, on Jay's computers today, we're gonna do a review of a Canon printer. Um, I bought a printer for my daughter's computer and do an install and also maybe do a review. So I hope you enjoy. So here we go, this is the, uh, the front cover. It looks like this uh, clips up. You've got all the power button home. This hasn't obviously come on until uh, it's uh, ready. This is the paper drawer. Doesn't hold too much paper. And then we will put this back in here. We've got this little cover here. This is looks like it might be a feeder speaker of some description. Again, we'll look for the uh, the uh, catalog there. We've got a. Oh, let's open this up. You can see here. There's a thingy. When it opens up, the uh, the printer cartridges go. The printing area. Let's close this down. Lift this up, and this is the uh, the scanner. Hmm. Notice this comes up. Not sure why that does. There's a probably a reason. So let's see. We have the uh, the disc, Canon warranty. Let me put that there. Comes with this. Get the app and start printing from your smartphone. It's basically a safety sheet which says don't do anything stupid like uh, dropping it in water or operating or touching it when your hands are wet or uh, whatever. So uh, that's all, all good stuff. So. And then the other one we have here is the getting started and we'll uh, We'll go through that as well. And as I said, it has two printer cartridges. Now, I, I want to tell you something really interesting. See? So, and I'm going to explain this. It has marked three markings for what you need for the printer cartridges. So, standard included, which is a black and white. High capacity, which is XL. And extra high capacity, double XL. Now, the ones which are listed with this, which sure enough is 241. Now, it's a standard printing thing. Now, as I was taking this from the, from the, from the, uh, from the place it was to the cash desk, one of the guys said to me, "Hey, by the way, buddy, you do know that it come. You need to get a printer cartridge because the printer cartridge that comes with it is only enough for setup." Bullshit. And if anyone from Staples is listening, if anyone from Staples is listening, your guys are giving bad advice and information. Standard one is fine. Okay. Now the initial setup, yes, it does use a lot of ink, but this will be more than just setup. You're giving me bullshit. Obviously, because a guy wanted to sell me some printer cartridges. Obviously, I need cartridges, right? But uh, I'm setting this up initially. Staples have got a 14-day uh, turnaround, and I may be able to find it somewhere cheaper, right? And supposing I have to send it back, so uh, I just said, yeah, sure, that's fine, all I need. If you're anyone from Staples, stop giving us bullshit. It doesn't work. For 
but for 80 bucks or 50 bucks for a printer it's not too dosh gone bad is it nice little thing I kind of like it now my one has fax capability um, so I call mine a, 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 an actually a, a three-in-one so it can do scan it can do print and it can do fax so um, I showed my daughter this uh, earlier on when she came in and she was really excited and I think she's gonna like this it's, it's a nice size it fits uh, nicely on a table let's uh, power this uh, beastie up what I've done is or what I'm gonna do as I said it's gonna be for my daughter's uh, computer but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just test it and run it up on my computer, make sure everything's good to go. Then I'm going to go downstairs and load everything up. Um, I've removed the HP software on my, uh, my machine, um, just to make sure there's no conflicts. And then we're going to see. So let's plug the, uh, just do it this way around. So you can see, this is where the plug goes in. Bang it in there. And power this in. Right, so next step is to lift this up and then we press the on button. Seems to be uh, doing something. Right, so I'm going to zoom in a bit closer so you can see. Okay, so I can't, my camera, the screen is very small, so I'm hoping you can see what it says. But essentially it's got a uh, language selection. So we're going to select language. Then we hit next. I don't want to send anything. Hit next. Select OK. Look, can you see that? It's got a little display. So it's asking us to basically put the. Can you see? Can you see? So it's got a C and a B. So I'm assuming B is for black, so that comes out there. And the black ink has got this, uh, black ink has got this, uh, this doofer on there, so we take that out. We get a nice tight zoom in there. Goes in that way. You can see? So it goes in this way. Close that down. Done. And we close the uh, scanner. I don't know if you saw it, but basically um, it cleaned the head. It's come up with a message saying that a print head cleaning is complete. Select OK. Wanting to do a test print, so so we pull this uh, pull this out here, and we take this bit out here, and then we're going to load this up with some paper. Funny enough, I've actually got some Canon paper. I'm not entirely sure where I get actually apple. But, so we put this bit on here, then we attach the cassette. And you know something, I have to admit, compared to my HP printer, um, I like this, you can actually load up as opposed to, on my other one, I've got a similar feeder, but it's, you've got to feed it through, but this kind of keeps some stuff already there. So I'm kind of liking that. Put that in there. So we then lift this up and underneath here, you can't really see. Can you see this here? So this is like the paper doofer. Yeah. 
There we go. So, let's do this again. Got the paper thing here. Pull this out. Keep pulling it out. And here we go. Okay, so I've missed the step for some reason. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to set it up slightly differently. But I actually wanted to take you a walk through these settings. So, um, if you hit home, you've got, and I'm hoping you can see, you've got copy, scan, print. You've got the Wi-Fi sign here, question mark for them help, and this little gear, which commonly is your settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate down to the settings, just to show you what we've got there. So the first one we have settings and device settings and print settings so you can do all that kind of good stuff you've got the return back your LAN settings device user settings uh, language selection firmware update feed settings um, you can reset the settings if we go back device settings oh we've done that already You've got the web service set up. You've got an eco mode and a quiet setting. If we go to maintenance, this is where you clear the uh, uh, all the printing stuff. So you've got a print nozzle check pattern, cleaning, deep cleaning, auto head alignment, uh, print print the head alignment value, roller cleaning, bottom plate plate, plate cleaning. Um, Estimated ink levels, this is a good one, so you can see if you're out of a colour or black black and white. And it even tells you ink number, what ink numbers you need. System information, gives you the current version, printer name, serial number, MAC address. So yeah, all this stuff is kind of good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, connect it up to my... Um, my laptop and I'm going to uh, install the software. So, let's um, get things going. So, I'm hoping you can see everything there. So let's uh, do a start setup. We're in Canada. So it's saying that I've got a, a Windows firewall to deactivate and that's fine. I was checking the printer status. Um, now we're saying that we're going to connect via USB. Make sure the USB connection is connected. Now it's going to plug and play. Uh, down here, I don't know if you can't see, but it's saying that the device is ready to use. I don't want to move this around too much. Um, right, now it's going to do the print head alignment. So let's see what it says what we have to do next. Right, test printing will perform, test printing will be performed to check the printer's operation. Load plain paper, as we already have. If a print error occurs, follow the on-screen instructions. So let's do that. So let's start. And I knew that it was going to do that so essentially it's going to do a test print that it was doing an alignment there's something is definitely hello hello world and this is a quite a good print so let me just zoom out so let me see if you can get up to there I don't know if it's in, in focus so it's done a print. So bingo bango, it's okay. Set this default printer and it's done, set up, done, next. So we're not, I'm really not worried about uh, these. I'm just going to uh, deselect those, hit next because 
it's not on my machine. Let's go next, exit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a colour picture. So if I open this up with uh, my photo viewer, that's a uh, beautiful Mary Lou there. Now if we do print, print, and let's say do the full page, fit this frame, and we're going to print on plain paper. Tell it to do its stuff. Let's have another look. Quieter one. Now, the colour does look a bit washed out. It is only going to print to uh, to this. Let's go cancel. Hang on, let's do something else. Print. Let's try. That's interesting. Okay, options. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to do high quality print. It's going to print it to, let's see a paper size. Okay, let's do 11 by 5. Let's do it, I'm going to do it on a smaller paper. Okay, so a high quality print this time, a smaller size. And let's print out and see what happens. Interesting to see if there's any eyes. Now, ha, ah, this is a lot better. This is very good quality. I, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up on the, on the, the thing, but I can tell you now 100% this is a fantastic quality color print in, in high, in, on, say in the high. So I don't know if this can be picked up. If I do this here. Can you see how that fade, that's faded out? And see how that's bang on. So that's good. I'm, uh, I'm liking that. So, so this is another thing, document I want to scan on there. Okay, close it down. Now, this isn't a photocopier. What I want to do is I want to scan this into my computer. Da -da -da -da. Let me resize to fit the desktop. Edit, flip horizontal, edit, flip vertical. That's not uh, fantastic uh, as a scan. Could be the quality of the scan. Um, so let's try another scan. No. But what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use the manual. Because this is pretty much... Okay, it's got some settings here. Photo color, photo, it's not a photo, it's not a mag, it's magazine, a document or color. Document grayscale, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe that's why the other one didn't come out right. So it's not a photo, it's a magazine. It's not a document, so it's the magazine color. Let's do preview. This is a lot faster. Ah, now look at that. So that looks better and looks like you can flip it around. So that's kind of good. So let's do scan it. Maybe that's where I went wrong on my other document. So this is actually quite good because on my HP software it doesn't have, have that facility. So you can preview do whatever you want to do with it, scan, and you can actually print. Your destination is a printer or whatever. But as I launched it from my, my software, it's going to print it to that, which is what I want to do. I don't want it actually to print. And I guess when I say scan, that's what I mean scan as opposed to photocopy. So we'll actually try also a photocopy. There you go. That's uh, that's a lot better.
that is a lot better. The quality is good. Okay, so now let's come out of this. I don't want to save it. We know the print quality is good. I want to do a copy, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a copy of remember this document I did. It's quite a bad quality. It's kind of faded, but, and that's what I want to see. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the setting to go to copy. And then we're going to go, okay. Standard copy. Oh, it looks like it, look, it's got a whole load of options here. ID card copy, standard copy, borderless copy. That's quite good. So I'll uh, have a little play around with those, but it's got a, a, number, a good number of settings. One, uh, one number. Now this is good. I'm liking this. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? It actually previews the document before it prints it out. You can set the uh, contrast. That's what it's like 100% and you can do it up or down. That is a good feature. Do we want a black and white copy or a color copy? I don't want to waste the ink so let's just do a a black and white copy. That's good. And if we go down, that's a lot faster. Look at that. Let's see. Now, that's the, uh, let's zoom out. Now that's the document. Now you can see there's some fading, but it's a very crappy original copy. So you're not going to get what I want, and this is what I want to see, what, you know, what the crappiness is like. Uh, and I'm guessing if I change those settings for the contrast, I can get those filled in. But to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, um, uh, we're, all, we're all good now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this off my computer, put back my HP software, and then I'm going to take this downstairs, put it on the, uh, the desk, install it, do a couple of test prints, make sure it's okay, and then I'm gonna show you from there. So guys, uh, excuse the mess on the table. Um, here we go with the Canon. Um, and what I've done is I've uh, connected it up to, this is my daughter's uh, uh, PC, sorry, laptop. And uh, what I've done is I've hardwired it so we have the mains on there and it comes onto a USB uh, A connector and there's a, as you said, there's, as I said, there's a USB B connector. So how I've done it is I've hardwired her laptop so when she comes in all she has to do is hit the mains button because we've got this hooked up to this monitor. So I don't want to lift in the monitor, the, 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 the um, the lid up and down so what all she does is she powers it on the laptop boots up because it boots up on power up okay automatically boots up on power up and um, this will automatically see the mains but to power it on you then hit the home button um, the uh, software loaded up fine it didn't exactly or 100 percent plug and play with windows 10 uh, and that wasn't an issue you saw the printouts uh, there wasn't anything else extra that i needed to put on and it was good so i would say for 50 bucks you really can't go wrong um i was looking at 150 maybe for a printer but i decided to get it on sale um i haven't done any reviews online for this but i'll probably do one so uh, that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, review for this uh, for the canon printer so uh so say if you can't be good be careful if you can't be careful name enough to be the big j adrian j catch you next time on adrian j online and please like and subscribe take care bye for now